This is Dr. Lou Sella, Doctor of Sport and Performance Psychology. Okay, so when you want to create a physical, vicious offense with the lightweights, you're wondering, well, how do I do it? How do I do it with a 170-pound offensive line? How do I do this with a 180-pound offensive line? How can we become a physical offense? People are dying to become physical. They're dying to be the bully in an area where people don't handle bullying really well. How can they be this violent, tenacious offense, but you have an offensive line that's 165 pounds? How do you do it? I'm going to tell you the three ways you do it. Number one with the triple team. Zone dive, zone dive, zone dive. You are going to scare the heck out of people because if you're a defensive tackle and you're aligning over the guard and three dudes are coming at you, yeah, that's a way to intimidate your opponent. You make the kid quit. I was a defensive tackle in high school, and if I knew I was getting triple team, I'd be like, Coach, can you help me out? Can you can you move me? Maybe a five tech? Can I, can I at least be a four eye? Can I play a shade? Something here, Coach. Help me. Help me. So that's number one. So how does it start? It starts with triple teaming because you're, you're going to make people quit. I've had clients tell me over and over, they're like, wow, you know, we went from being a spread offense to triple teaming, and instead of people, like, not even being worried about the run, now they're terrified of it. Number two, you got to trap with authority. you got to trap with authority. you got to make everything happen quick, and whoever the trapper is, he's got to get his helmet up the field and strike with that plate side forearm. And knock the pull out of the guy he's trapping. You got to trap with authority. It's got to happen quick, and it's got to get to the point where that kid doesn't see it coming. So you've got to trap with authority. Your guard and tackle and center, they got to move quick at the snap. The backside guard opens flat, and he freaking hits that son of a gun with authority. Helmet up the field, strikes with the place in for him, and drives. The poor son of a gun out of bounds. So that's number two. And number three, persistence. Persistence, persistence. One thing I don't see a lot in high school football. However, my best clients are persistent son of a guns. Ray Kroc built a fast food empire on persistence. He started at McDonald's with the McDonald's brothers. They didn't want to grow. He wanted to grow. He persisted, 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 persisted until he was worth so much money he bought the San Diego Padres. You've got to be persistent running the zone dive, running mid-triple, the trap, the toss, being persistent because the persistence is going to pay off. And by you being persistent, you're going to make the other guy quit. This is what happens. How do you do it with, with a bunch of lightweights? Having the three lightweights triple team. Because if you have a 165-pound offensive line, that's 500 pounds on a defensive tackle. Good luck to the poor son of a gun. Trap with authority. If everybody's moving quick and that guard comes over and that D tackle doesn't see it coming, good night for the defensive tackle. Well, number three, persistence. Keep going. Don't go, well, we can't get zone dive going, so let's get into the gun. And go three by one and run bubble screens. Okay. Only freaking beta males do that. You line up and you keep going. Keep going. That's how you create a physical vicious offense with lightweights. Triple team trap with authority and persistence. Good old persistence. It outweighs resistance. Best thing my father ever taught me. Persistence outweighs resistance. There you go. Coaches, you ready to win big? Tired of not having your place at the table? Pick up the phone and call me right now. 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265. And go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that come from the Camps Day Academy. And I'll see you later.